have to believe in that theory because it's like, are white dudes that bad at basketball? <laughs> I can't even watch the NBA anymore, man. It's like every highlight, the white dude's like that, the black dude has like his nuts in his face. Fucking crap! I'm just sitting at home like, for the love of God, tackle the guy. For the love Jesus of God. Christ, get out of the way. Do you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? Yo! Hey guys doing today? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for asking you guys. I'm back. I've been in Asia for a year. I got lots of stories coming your way, but right now we're going to jump into a reaction. Bill Burr. Um, and we got some new rules here, you guys. Okay, I'm not the old Big Dirty. I'm the new Big Dirty. And they got some rules. You piss me off, you get the one too. But the new part is now you go to daddy detention. So don't piss me off. And I'll let you know if you go into daddy detention. All right, you guys. Uh, enjoy. Uh, you know, I don't know, the offense isn't getting it done. You know, defense, you know, too slow. And it just run up. Tell me, we got to get some more black guys in this team. Oh, you, my God. Immediately, I'm just like, what? 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 <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And, uh... I gotta get rid of him, man. I gotta admit to you. Oh my I'm god. I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them. Because I gotta, like, fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I iron the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got, like, fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland? And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. Oh my god. And a hat. Yeah, that's true. It's true. It's like a rule or something. <laughs> They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period. One of them's gonna notice all of a sudden just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. And then the whole crowd's like, oh, shit! Hear me out, you guys. I love Bill Burr, but I gotta be real. He, he kind of wrong with this. I mean, he's right because black people dress nice. I'm not gonna lie. As a female, that takes care of herself, I would say. You know? You know, I, I try to look presentable. And I've dated white men and black men. And let me tell y'all, white men don't tend to take care of themselves like black men do. Listen, don't at me, okay? I don't know if it's a cultural thing or what's going on with y'all. I think you, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it, don't at me, okay? This is just based off of data that I've collected um, as a person living life in this century. Um... It's, it's, it's just that, like, I've noticed that black men dress nice. Like, they, they take a little, like he said, you know, they put a little extra. And I'm not going to lie. I think, I think also, I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I've noticed. I got five shirts. <laughs> They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shit be saying Oh Tuesday. my God. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirts. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. <laughs> no, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? <laughs> my only frame of reference with black people was, like, the, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Oh my god, bro. In there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got nice cars, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> black dudes are never happy. But after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> the last shit that they're gonna let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. <laughs> Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! <laughs> Everyone starts making fun of him. 
he's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody kind of mug me kind of face. What I'm is he talking about? It's gonna happen. I'm just saying. I'm paying attention. So I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know. Gone out like three, four times, you know. First time we hung out, we hung out in, like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> The shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was... Wait, wait, you guys. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Why did he talk into them? Like, okay, this is this, this is one of the things that I like about Bill Burr. Is like, he, he could just say racially mixed area, but the way he puts it, he's like, he like emphasizes on... It's the small things, you know? It makes a difference. Why did he say it like that? It's more like midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98, 99th Street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st Street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel it? <laughs> 6th Street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? Oh my god, how come there's no taxis? Dude, what's a bodega? A bodega? I don't know what that is, let's get the fuck out of here. So I'm praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder. And see, like, all the white people, like, disappearing so over the stupid. horizon, you know? <laughs> and she goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, God, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's, like, right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting, like, two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in, like, sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me, he's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, and it's coming hard. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be pronounced with the A, it's gonna be with the R, and he hit the R, he like stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Why, why is he doing this, you guys? <laughs> Clan members high-fiving in the background, like doing Oh the my God, oh my God, bro. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of, like, a potential ass-kicking that I had nothing to do with. Yeah, just by association. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word, hot potato, just threw it in my lap. <laughs> Yeah, just by association. What the fuck? You know there are people be fiending to say that word. Any opportunity they get. Next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, fill me out first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask some questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? Yo! I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Yo! Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming, because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> Those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their <laughs> eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game. <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking idiot over his kitchen in TV. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? You have Watching people, you know, you get have attacked tea, by animals. Oh, that. Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? 
<laughs> like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know my favorite, like, moment of, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? That was, like, some 50, 55-year-old white dude tries to explain why black people are kicking the shit out of white people in practically every major sport, you know? And it always goes down the same way, right? There's always, like, three white dudes, and the one white dude in the middle, he's always, like, the guy with, like, the theory. You know, he's always, like, you know, it seems these, uh, these African-American athletes, they, uh, they seem to have this, uh, this quick twitch uh, muscle fiber. You know, there's a uh, slow twitch, and there's uh, this quick twitch. And the second the dude says that, like, the other two white dudes start, like, sliding out of frame, like, okay, this guy's getting fired, and I'm not going to be part of this highlight. Nice showing you, Nate. Keep that C corn, right? <laughs> And the dude in the middle, he's just like hell bent on getting fired. You know, he's just he's like bent. bringing yeah, up yeah, slavery. Yeah. And evidently, they were bringing the strongest man with the strongest woman and that quick twitch. <laughs> and literally 20 minutes later, that dude's on TV. He's like fired, right? He's crying. His family stand there. He's got like a box of shit from his desk with like an Emmy sticking out. He's like, I don't know what I said. I was just talking about the quick twitch and the slow twitch. And like, oh my I just God. No, I love that. I love seeing people mess up their careers like that. It's just funny to me. Plus, I gotta admit, as a white dude, on some level, I have to believe in that theory, because it's like, are white dudes that bad at basketball? <laughs> I can't even watch the NBA anymore, man. It's like, every highlight, the white dude's like that, the black dude has like his nuts in his face. Fucking crap! I'm just sitting at home like, for the love of God, tackle the guy. For the love Jesus of God. Christ, get out of the way! Do you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? Yo! You know you're gonna be on Sports Center. Just get out of the way. Yo! He's a two nuts. I'm telling you, there's gotta be something to that theory. I saw this show one time on Runaway Slaves. It was one of the most amazing programs I've ever seen in my life. Dude, when you ran away as a slave, you just didn't run to the end of the driveway and be like, ah, oh, fuck that job, just start walking. <laughs> <laughs> you ran away as a slave. You run through whole states. This dog you're hurtling shit, you're swimming. Those were the first fucking triathletes. Yo! And there was nobody helping him out. There was no dude on the side of the road like, come on, man, two more states from Ohio. Suck it up, you're looking good. Looking good. Yeah, I mean... At that point, it's like, you, you it's survival, you know what I mean? That's, that's, I always hear that argument, that twi fast twitch fiber, whatever. It, it just, it sounds like uh, like optimum fiber whenever I think about that. It's like uh, l like uh, internet speed or something. Is that weird? That's what I think about? I don't know why. I don't know. That's that's what comes to my mind. Join me. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to be uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from now on. So you know when you can uh, expect to see my videos. Uh, let me know what you'd want me to react to down below. Also, check out my social. Thank you for joining me. And on that note, I'll catch you next time. Bye. I love you.